So this is a pull tab blow off valve. What it does is boost pressure in the intercooler pipes is what keeps it closed under boost. So there's no way this thing's going to leak when it's under boost. And then the only thing that's ever going to get it to open is the presence of vacuum the minute the throttle is closed. And so what are some of the key features of this blow off valve? First, it's got two ports. You can use one or both. Typically you'll use both. Something that's different about this blow off valve is it has two ports. These two ports will be used uh, either one at a time or you can use both to be able to change your response. There's a preload adjustment on the blow off valve as well so that you can change um, how your spring reacts when it opens up the valve. And then there's this other port down here which will be used for your overboost protection. Um, it's not just a blow off valve but it's also got the built in functions of a pop off valve. Some of the basic features of this blow off valve that you'll see is it's got uh, removable recirculation flange. So for those of you with mass air sensors, you can actually change the flange and uh, put it on and recirculate the discharge back after the mass air flow meter. And what it'll do is it'll actually um, keep you from running rich between gear shifts. So this is what it looks like when it's not using that flange. and then this is what it looks like when it, the flange is installed. The other great thing is it actually has an interchangeable mounting flange. So what you'll find is we are going to have an HKS style uh, flange for those of you that already have an HKS blow off valve and have it welded onto your intercooler pipe. You can simply put on the HKS flange, bolt it on, you're ready to go. We're also going to include uh, with every blow off valve one or the other. Either you will either have a access to a stainless steel or an aluminum weld-on fitting. The great thing about the weld-on fittings is it actually allows the blow-off valve to be used as it was designed. The weld-on fitting is very small and what it is meant to do is to have the blow-off valve sit four millimeter above the intercooler pipe. And what you'll see is the blow-off valve has a curvature on the back because it's actually meant to hug the intercooler pipe and sit very low with the intercooler pipe. And so if, if you're wondering how come there is not a mild steel flange available, because with stainless steel you can just use a different type of weld rod, uh, either with MIG or TIG, and be able to weld the, that grade of stainless uh, securely onto with mild steel. So now let me go ahead and take this apart. Now that we've taken the covers off of the blow off valves, you can compare another pull type blow off valve with Synchronic. Synchronic it's a full billet aluminum, billet machined blow off valve. With a billet aluminum valve, billet aluminum housing, um, and it's a quality piece. This is the other piece that's in comparison, which is uh, in die cast aluminum. It's got a plastic uh, concentrically mounted valve inside of it. And as you can see, that's the type of reaction you get from. Uh, this blow off valve. It's also a diaphragm based blow off valve. A synchronic blow off valve does not have a diaphragm. It's a fast acting, piston actuated, billet valve, uh, and synchronic blow off valve. And uh, we'll take these apart so that everybody can see what they look like on the actuator side. As you can see, the Legacy Diaphragm Blow Off Valve has a flexible diaphragm to get it to actuate whenever anything changes in pressure. Synchronic Actuator Blow Off Valve has a piston actuator, all built aluminum piston actuator. Nothing hokey, all pro. I just said that. Mm -hmm. And I'm done. Nothing hokey, just pro. Yeah. I don't want to do it anymore. Say, <laughs> say your one last sentence because you have six more minutes. Just say, are you going to say not so hokey? No, I'll just do it again. No, just say it again. I'll do it again. Okay, just do it. As you can see, the actuator on the Legacy diaphragm blow off valve has a diaphragm. The diaphragm is used to stretch to be able to pull the valve open to be able to blow off. Synchronic blow off valve has a billet aluminum, billet machined, 
piston actuator. So no diaphragms. So you get increased reliability, fast response, and overall increased performance and features that you can't find in a diaphragm blow off valve today. It is also very different from your traditional piston blow off valve that's out there. Most piston blow off valves still have a diaphragm that makes them work. And if not, they're usually using a bronze piston with contact on aluminum. So there's metal to metal contact and they have to use lubricant to keep it from galling. But in this design, it's supported by three axes and reacts very, very quickly.